Welcome back to After Whiskey. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And this is our second video in a series I can't tell them, but Joyce is going to tell you all about it right now. Today we continue our series through four of the five new bottles of Benchmark with Benchmark Single Barrel. Benchmark Single Barrel uses Buffalo Trace's number one low rye mash bill. It comes in at 95 proof and emphasizes the process of handpicking particular barrels for a single barrel experience. We paid $19 for our bottle, which has an average retail price of 25. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Let's take a taste and smell and let's just see what we think of this whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> I'm intrigued. That first I, note was fruity. I had, at least. Yeah, juicy fruit. Juicy fruit gum. Mm. No. No, it was like That's mixed what I'm berries. It was like my son's yogurts. I'm very intrigued by this nose. I like it. I like this nose. I do too. Soft, mellow. A little bit of fruit. And I like fruit. Y'all know I like fruit. You know I like fruit. Fruit notes are my jam. I'm a big fan of fruit too. Getting a slight bit of melon, a little bit of banana. See, I'm over here like, I'm getting berries and yep. maybe like a peach, some apple perhaps. Maybe a little bit of cherry for me. Okay, now that we've named all of the fruits. I'm going in. What is this? Spicy. It's a nice spice. Delicious. I'm, I'm getting like a spicy fruit. Yeah. Yes. Like a Man. spicy fruit pie of some sort. It's just a filling. I would eat this as a pie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The spices on both the nose and the palate are really well done. And the the fruit aromas and flavors. And again, it's just a whole produce section that I'm tasting. This is a very intriguing whiskey. Are you adding warm for me? Yep. You heathen. I'm like, spices. I'm picking up clove. I'm picking up nutmeg. I'm picking up pepper, but not much pepper, just a little bit. But yeah, it's mostly like baking spices more than like yeah, yeah. spicy spice. And so well balanced of like across them all. It's not spiky spice. Brown sugar, a little bit of carm caramelized brown sugar. And Ooh, the finish is also very good. Smelled out the water. Ooh, I brought, brought some vanilla and like caramel. That is so different. It's like a caramel now for me on the nose. Yeah, it, it went from like the the flavors and notes I enjoy in an ice cream to the flavors and notes my wife enjoys in an ice cream. Honestly, like a, a caramel sun, vanilla sundae. I'm still getting cherry though. Okay, with the cherry on top. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like I'm, I'm getting like caramel and vanilla, maybe even a little bit of cocoa and cherry. Is this a- It's uh, a sundae. Is, a, is this a sundae from McDonald's? So they have like the chocolate on the bottom, the, the, Soft serve. And no, this no. is a better Sunday. No, this machine works. Yeah, I'm getting Ooh. that caramel. I'm getting a little bit of like crushed peanut. That's good. That's really Ooh. good. That's real good. It's so velvety. Mm -hmm. Knowing what this is, this is better than I expected. It's Old Crow Black Label. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke about this being the next Old Crow. <laughs> and it being something that's not supposed to be good, but we love it. That is good. Yeah. Well, that being said, it's so good. Are you ready for ratings, though? Ah, uh, yes. We're going to do ratings now. Eric's going to start us off. This is fantastic. I'm giving it a 4.5 on the nose. There is room for improvement. The notes were fantastic and done well. They're both intriguing notes, and they have that done well quality. There is room for improvement though. I feel like I don't I don't know where. And then the palette, I'm giving it a five. I'm hesitant to give it a five, but I thought this was as close to perfect as I've had. And the finish, well, fan, well good. I don't wanna say fantastic again. Well, good. It's nothing super special. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I am pretty much gonna go right across the board with Eric on these uh, ratings. Four and a half, uh, five, but I'm going to change the finish to a four. I really like the transition on that finish. What you were saying, it was missing. I agree with you totally on everything. So just what Eric said, ditto. 
And I think I found what you were missing on the nose okay. that would have kicked it up. I think if the nose was just a little more vibrant. I loved those aromas. I thought they were very pleasant. I think if they were just more bold and vibrant about, yes. about it. That is Not what it is. So it, it, subtle. It needs a pinch more vibrant, like just yes. bold. Yes. Yeah. That would make it a five for me. I love this whiskey. The aromas were soft and mellow, and I think I would just want a bit more out of that. But they were great. I could not wait to taste it. And then once I tasted it, all those aromas just transitioned right into the palate perfectly. And I got every flavor that I was wanting out of it. And then it transitioned very smoothly into the finish. Well-timed finish. Great flavors on the finish that I really liked. And then adding water just made this a good... It just continued with everything, adding water. This is one of those that I could use it as a mixer. I could use it on the rocks. I could go perfectly neat with it. I love this. I'm giving it less than them, but I still really enjoy it. I just... If you look at my past history, I tend to be more critical of things. The nose, I am giving a four. Palette, four. And then the finish, this one's hard. Because I was so entrenched or so interested and loved the palette and the nose that I didn't pay as much attention to the finish. Yeah. I'm going to go 3.5 on the finish. The palette and the nose, both of them just have really good notes that I like. It's got a well balance between the a fruit note and spice and like sugar notes it's really nicely well done put together those are the ratings we're going ahead and do guesses now i'm not going to participate since i know what it is sticking with the theme i'm going to go bourbon again slightly higher proof i'm going to go 84 proof on this one i'm going to go retail 22 and i'd be willing to pay up to 24 maybe even 25 dollars for this i also think this is a bourbon I'm going to step down and say I think it's 80 proof, though. <laughs> I think this retails for somewhere in the low 20s, 23-ish. Honestly, I'd probably be willing to pay 32-ish for this. 32. It's pretty good. It's out of our price range. I know it's not that much, but I would be willing to pay that. Theoretically, things could be retail outside of our price, but we just paid for it in our price for, like, on sale. Yeah. So it can happen. Those are our guesses. As of the last video, we're going to do a reveal in two more videos from now. Uh, you already know what it is. They do not. I want to keep it that way for this shoot. So until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this drink's on me. me.